back on the river after the floods. It, the water's gone back down now. Got a little point right here. I'm not sure what it is. It's small. You see it right there? Go ahead and get it and see what we got. It's made out of Wyandotte or Indiana Hornstone. Little, looks to be a side notch, but boy, it sure has been worn down. My shape, though, it's all there. It's just been resharpened a lot. It's got some grinding on it. I don't know if we'll be able to figure out exactly what that is or not. It's wore down so much, but it's a nice point. I'll take it. We'll keep on looking around here, see what else we can find. Now that point's probably what well, could have fallen out of this layer. But if you look right here on the bank, see a piece of power rock there. There's a layer it runs through here. And there's there's I'm sure there's other layers in here that it could have fallen out of too. That's just one of them. Come on over and you can see some more rock in a layer there. So thousands of years ago, it was Native Americans camped around a fire right here along this bank. Now it's built up a lot over the years from flooding. Now folks, fighting a lot of mud where this water receded. And I'm seeing a lot of tracks where somebody beat me to it. I think it's rained once since they were here. But I just walked up on a beautiful Adena. Check this out. Right, right there. So even if somebody's been here, they never find them all. That looks like a, an Adena to me. Let's grab it and see what we got. Yep. I'd say it's an Adena. Nice striping through it. Let's take it down here and wash it off. Sun. It might be too bright in the sun with this camera. Here now, maybe you can see the collaring better. It's a beautiful point. Barbs are pretty much intact. That one looks like it's been worked that way. Tips all there. It looks like some of the cortex of the stone right there. It's a beautiful point. I'll take it. Let's see what else we can find. Got what looks like a worked piece here. Doesn't look like anything great. But let's check it and see it. See what it is. Yeah, it looks like a tip. Almost looks like a crude triangle with a corner broke off. Right, we'll take it, clean it up. Better than nothing. I'm not sure about that piece. Let's see. Kind of looks like it's worked around here, like it's a big scraper. Yeah, we'll take it. Kind of looks like there's flaking all around that edge. It could have been a, a scraper. And we're keeping it just to be safe. Still finding the pottery. Pretty sure that's a piece right there. Yeah, it's rather thick. That's it. Yeah, that's another piece. That's where she's too often. Thicker than the pottery I usually find. That's the outsides. Here's the inside. Let's see if it's tempered with anything. Usually it's tempered with shells, mussel shells or flint flakes. I don't see any temper in this pottery. Let's see if there's any more here. Is that a piece? Yep, that's another piece. More pottery. Looks like a bigger piece here. It was real thick. I think there's another one down here. Good sized pieces there. Yeah, I believe it's a point, but it's a broken one. Not in very good shape. If you look right there, you can kind of see a corner notch. 
looks like the base corner is broken off over there. Of course, the tip's gone. Let's see what we got. Yeah, not much at this point left. One nice barb and corner notch. Piece has been ground a little bit. Tip's gone and the side's gone off of it. Could have been a nice point, but there's way too much of it gone. Here's the results of my first post Ohio River flood of 24. Finally got out the waters, dropped enough to get out and do some searching, but it left a lot of mud behind. Mud thigh high in places, so it makes it really hard to walk everywhere you want to go. But I did do some good on this trip. Best find was this one. Looks like an Adena, and I think it's a Dixon contracting stem, which is also known as an Adena Dixon, based on the overall shape. And the Dixon contracting stem material is it's normally made out of a couple different types. One of them is Cobden Dongola. And Cobden and Dongola used to be kind of separate church. Now they're lumped together. But Cobden was the unbanded banded version. Dongola was the banded version, which this one would be Dongola. Now I think those two names are interchangeable. I'd never heard of them before until I found that point and did a little research. This little point's been heavily reworked. There's not much left of it, though. Nice little point made out of Wyandotte, but it's been reworked to death, so kind of hard to tell what it started out to be. That one, I think, was a Madison. You can see it's worked on half of the bottom there has been worked, but it looks like just a corner chunk is busted out of that one. This one's all a Wyandotte point, but not sure what type or so much of it gone. You can see where it's heavily ground, how it whitened up the Wyandotte chert on the bottom where they ground it. Couple other busted points. This one's a scraper. You can see where it's been worked all around that lip. So that was a scraper and it found a lot of pottery. I showed you a couple videos of it. Didn't show you at all because I didn't want to bore you to death. Um, you can see some of the tempering material used in it. Looks like flint flakes. There's a rim shard. But you can see some more of the flakes in there. I think it's ground up flint flakes. A lot of times when you find pottery that has been used, they use uh, white or freshwater mussel shells it'll be eroded out and you'll just have pits left where the tempering was but most of these the tempering is still visible in it so i think a lot of it's been tempered with flint a couple of those pieces are rather thick but here's one's got some really fine flakes in it that's been tempered with it was a good trip a lot of mud on the banks that's to be expected though after the flood recedes you need to flood to wash the artifacts out but then you got to deal with the mud for a while There'll be a lot of stuff being found on those banks for a while to come as boat traffic washes the shores with the waves and then rain. And it'll continuously wash out, clean up mud off of artifacts. So didn't find a whole lot, but it was still a good trip. Enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, folks. Please like and subscribe.